Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Um, my name's Smox from Celebrant Quest. Um, and last time we, well, played through most of the tutorials. The only tutorial I didn't do was the defense one. But to be honest, I kind of just want to get into the game and see what happens. So I think we should just start. How about we start a new game? Okay, so the scenario is crash landing. Can I change that? Oh, I can. Okay, so crash landing. While en route to the, the outer worlds, the passenger ship Alien Dawn suffers a catastrophic hyperdrive malfunction and starts breaking apart in orbit of an unknown planet. Up to four passengers reach one of the emergency landing pods. This is the story of their survival. So the mission is to find a way back to civiliz civilization. Then the trading post, oops, hang on, what does the trading post do? A small group of outcasts buy a one-way ticket to an uncharted territory of the outer worlds where they play, plan to set up a small trading post. So it's three passengers on the planet with all the money that they had. Okay, so their mission is to acquire enough Galact Galacta coins to buy the planet. Okay. And the military one, a team of adventurers, scientists, and soldiers is sent to a heavy, heavily infested planet where they must conduct and defend a core communication relay. Okay, so it's six team members. And the mission is to build Ansible Relay? I don't know what Ansible is. Number 499 and establish communications. Um, I, let's go with crash landing. Why not? So the region is Sorbrius. So it's a temperate mountainous area with large meadows. We have Soltu, which is a tropical region covered with dense jungles, swamps, rivers, and hot beaches. Desertum, which is a hot desert dominated by dunes, oases, and dry riverbeds. And then there's Random. Um, ooh, why don't we try Soltu? That sounds good. The moon is Concordia. Concordia is the goddess of balance, of holding on and letting go. This too shall pass as a Pers Persian adage. Um, we could do Jason. Jason sends through challenges, but provides time to prepare for them. Oh, is this kind of like Rimworld? It looks like it. Nyx is the goddess of night and governs everything that lurks in the dark, be it thought or action or a demon. Hmm. Okay. Chaos. At the beginning, there was chaos. Everything appeared out of the chaos and will return to chaos. Okay. What matters most is how well you walk through the fire. <laughs> I like that. Let's go with Nyx because she sounds cool. Okay. Game difficulty is on medium. Um, oh god, insane. Five emergency rations, that's it. For players who wish to push themselves to their limits, well, I don't think we'll... <laughs> I don't think we'll last very long with that. So, how about... We could start with... I mean, hard is for players who are familiar with survival management genre, and I feel like that's me. Um, maybe... Let's go with hard. We'll see what happens. Um... Seed basis review. Oh, I'm just gonna. It doesn't matter. Game rules. Big family. Increase the average number of survivors you can find by two. Eternal bliss adds a permanent boost of 50 plus happiness to our survivors. Um, look, doesn't matter. Let's not add any of those. We'll just do this. All right, let's go next. Oh, I get to choose my people. Okay, how many are there? Quite a few. And we've got some people who are blacked out like. We can't choose those guys. Oh, my bad. They're already chosen for us. I see. Sorry. Okay. So we have here um, Jayla, or maybe could be Yayla. Ja Let's go with Jayla. Jayla Lowen. She's an instrumentalist. She's 21. Being an instrumentalist, Jayla is always traveling to perform, but when things aren't going well, her alter ego. Layla is never far away. Okay. Um, she has a split personality. She switches traits <laughs> with her alter ego. Has permanently increased happiness. Makes others happy when playing music. Okay. He's Nar uh, Naras Letty. He's 38. He's an enlightened one. Uh, his traits are that he is liberated. He cannot experience meltdowns or euphoria. 
calming. He tries to calm down others. That sounds good. And a pacifist. He will not fight or hunt. Uh, okay, so he must be... Okay, he's interested in healing. What else? And he's quite good at crafting. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Raka we had in the tutorial. So he is a master builder. He has a gloomy personality. Oh, he's cousins with Rita. Okay, I think maybe we should maybe swap Raka because we had him last time. So let's try to find someone else who could maybe take his place. What has Annette got going for her? So we need, if we're not going to choose Raka, I guess we need someone who's interested in crafting or construction. Um, we don't want someone who doesn't want to do combat either. Okay, what about Hugo? How do I remove... Well, maybe I can't remove Raka. Is that what it's telling me? Oh, there we go. Who do I say? Hugo. He's an animal tamer, a farm teacher, and a glutton. What about Samantha? Let's just check her really quickly. She's an engineer and she's a vegetarian. Um, okay, yeah, let, why not? Let's choose... Yeah, let's choose Hugo. There we go. So we've got Hugo, who's 40. We've got Jayla, who's 21. We've got Naris, who's 38. And Samantha, who's 30. That sounds pretty good. Let's do it. I have no idea how this is going to go, so we'll just have to see. Okay, here we go. Crash landing. Well, this planet looks kind of nice. Oh god, watch out. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not a good driver. Okay, so let's just pause for now. Um, oh god, someone's crying already. Who's crying? Hugo, no, mate, get up, dude. I don't have time for you to cry. <laughs> you know what? I might just turn down the... The audio a little. Is that a little better? I feel like that's a little better. Maybe, actually, sorry. Let's turn down maybe the ambience or maybe the effects. Oh, that's it. That's way better. Okay. Yeah, because that the sound of that gun, uh, that like. I don't know. It says it does gunshots and explosions, but this, like, permanent kind of... I don't know if you can hear it. Like, this, like, permanent, like, crackling sound from that fire. It's a little bit much. All right, let's have a look. Um, oh, look! Naris is trying to calm down Hugo. That is so cute. They're working together already. That's so lovely. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some water here. I don't know if that's necessary, but... Oh, we've got a bloated insect. We won't go near to them just yet just in case they're a bit nasty um but that's good because we can hunt these now oh what are these a glowing tree okay we will have to observe all of these to work out what's happening um gosh look at how pretty that is with that blue okay so and then we've got lots of wood and everything here oh what's in here that red stuff a big leafed plant. Okay. Oh, what's this? A flying insect. Okay, we'll just leave you be for now, buddy. Okay, so let's place our um, shelter around here. Um, so we have to make a shelter. We can do a scrap metal shelter. Let's do that. Um, yeah, this will do. And we'll need to come and cut all of this too, won't we? 
Yeah, because that's kind of in the way of where we want to build. All right. And, oh, sugar. Did you see that? Oh, dear. Um, you know what? Let's get... Do we have to... Oh, let... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. We almost... Oh, God. All right. So nowhere is safe right now. <laughs> Oh my god, we almost just... You didn't even make it past the first half an hour. That would have been pretty bad. <laughs> Let's cut down some of these trees as well. Um, so we've got our guys... Oh, that's right. Hang on. Let's pause. I need to do our management. So let's look at our activities. So this is where... This is a um, kind of like a RimWorld style um, priorities for your activities. So... I think our healers definitely should be healing um, as a priority. So we've got, apparently, oh yeah, Naris and Samantha. Samantha is like number two, I think. Let's put number one for Naris. Um, we'll make it as a number two for Samantha. Handling, let's have a look. What's that? Doing mundane tasks. That's fine. Construction. Who's good at construction? Well, Samantha's got a one, so let's do her. Um, hunting. Let's do Samantha. She loves hunting, apparently. Harvesting. Oh, there's Hugo. Um, he will be good at planting as well. Yeah, let's do one and one. God, what's Jayla good at? Probably nothing. <laughs> um, that's fine. Cutting. Oh, Jayla, your turn to shine, mate. You're number one on that one. <laughs> That's your number one priority. Um, ranching. So this is farming. Oh, sorry. Taming, lending, uh, leading the training of animals, refilling the animal feeders. Oh, Hugo, you like to do that too. But so does Naras. So let's put those as number two for Naras. Plant, we've already worked out. Scavenge. Okay, this is Jayla. She needs to be scavenging. And we've got mining. Oh, that's Jayla as well. Oh, blimey. <laughs> How about cooking? Hugo, mate, you'd love to do that. Um, should I put that as a one? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'll put that as a one and then I'll put the planting as two because I, hmm, yeah, I want him to be cooking because we don't want to run out of food. Okay. What's this? Cooking, uh, crafting, crafting. So crafting, producing new items on dedicated devices. Okay, so this is like our workbenches and everything. Naras, your turn to shine, bud. Okay, what else? Um, tailoring, again, Naras. We'll just make them all number ones for Naras. Um... Observing. Oh, this is like our research stuff. So, Samantha, you're up, bud. Researching again um, and delivering. So, hauling items and materials to storage, storages and devices. Let's uh, just leave that as it is. Okay. Beautiful. And then also the schedule. So our guys can sleep, they can work. I'm going to put that sleeping is from maybe 22. Yeah. Until 5. And then you can get straight into work. Actually, no, let's have an anything here. And then I want you to relax just before you go to bed because it'd be nice for you to, um, to have some fun, you know? Okay, we'll see how this works. Alright, let's unpause. Oh, we can actually observe the giant grass. Let's do that because it might, I don't know, make us more efficient at cutting and everything. I'm not sure. So we've got our shelter being done. So when the shelter is built... Um, let me see, shelter. Can I put one like... How do they... I know I can put them right next to each other, but if I put it like this, does that... Does that work? Like, it? does it make it like more like a house? I'm not sure. Let's put our sleeping spots. So we've got... Oh, we've got four people, though. 
Hint, getting help. Okay, uh, hints such as this one will be displayed. Oh, I don't want the hints. You can browse and search for hints. Okay, whatever. For now, I'm okay. <laughs> Let's make another shelter on this side. Oops, because we'll need places for our sleeping spots. Okay, so I've got insufficient materials, so I need to go and scavenge. There we go. Oh, I need to put... What do I need to press? Shift, and that will do that. Beautiful. So I don't have enough... Is that scrap metal? Scrap metal. Okay, this is where we just start to scavenge some of these um, bits that are around us. So let's start doing that. Good on your jailer, look at you go. Um, okay, these rocks we can't interact with. That's fine. So what have we got here? Oh, that's hay. Okay, so Naras is scavenging. That's good. Can we observe anything down here? Like these orange... Oh, oh what's that over here? Oh, a flathead animal. Okay. Oh, look, there's like living crystal. That looks good. I want to have a look at these glowing trees as well. And we'll need to source some food too. I wonder if these tube plants can... Um, can be something we can eat. I don't know. Giant grass, giant grass. Okay, they're the same species. What's that there? Emergency rations. Okay, so once we get this hut built, that'll be good. What are you doing, Hugo? You're sort of idling. All right. Um, let's. Can we do the campfire? No, because we don't have enough stuff. Oh, look, Hugo is idling. That's funny. I just called that. A drying rack? A large drying rack. Okay, storage. Let's do a stockpile in here now. Actually, storage shelves. So stockpile. Let me just pause for a second. Capacity is for integrity 100. Provides storage spaces for resources. What about the shelves? Scrap metal storage shelf is... Oh, why don't we do a wooden one? Capacity 3. Oh. Um, why would that be a good idea? I don't know, but let's put it down. Oh, I see it's building out. There we go. Let's see if we can get some stuff happening. Um, we'll scavenge, scavenge this as well. Oh, look at this little flying animal here. What are you, my darling? A small flying lizard. Let's observe that one too. Oh, that's so cool. Hello. Okay, so how are we going? Observing the giant grass, that's good. What's Hugo doing? Okay, you're bringing things over here, that's great. Discovered the giant grass. I decided to call the tall, dense grass, giant's grass. Growing and harvesting, it won't be too hard and it could come in handy for simple constructions. Planting of giant's grass for hay. Oh, great. Okay, so that's how we get our hay. I think let's speed up time just a tad. And Hugo's going to scavenge that. That's good. Who have we got? Hugo scavenging. What's Jayla doing? Jayla is looking at... Oh, rain. Is that bad? I've paused again. Walking in the rain is unpleasant, but, but sleeping soaking wet is outright horrible. Survivors out in the open will have decreased happiness. On the other hand, rain is great for the plants and boosts their growth. All right. Well, that's something we're going to have to just be sort of tolerant of. Okay, I have no idea where that flying little... Oh no, there he is. Is he in the tree now? It looks like he's in the tree, this little guy. Okay, I'm gonna speed up time even more. So, okay, hang on. We've got our... We've got our shelter going. We've got our beds and our storage... little storage places. Farming. Grass and brushes. This category contains the following farms. Grass, giants, giants grass field. Do we need that right now? I'm not really sure that we need that, to be honest. 
Low food supply, four days. Okay. So we need to... Ranching. Small drying rack. So what do I... I'm missing sticks. Okay, I need to get some small shrubs. Now, where are the small shrubs? Giant's grass. There's a palm. Let's just see what's the deal with that palm and see if it counts as sticks. Low food supply. Okay. Get rid of the, Can I get rid of the rain? No, I can't get rid of the rain. What's that? Giant's grass. And that orange thing is nothing. Um... Wait, the tube plant might be something we can use. Oh, she's still observing that glowing tree, so that might be good for sticks. Okay. Let's maybe... Oh, great. We've got that scavenged. That's good. So we've got our beds, our shelter. Maybe we should make another shelter. Can I make a wooden shelter? Gosh, I really need sticks. Okay, where do I find sticks from? Um, is there any over here? No, that's the palm. What about the red leafed plants? Let's observe that as well because that might be useful for us. Yeah, I just can't see any like small bushes. New apparel, synthetic helm. What is that? Oh, that's something we can scavenge. Okay. You know... Oh, what are they over there? They look like pigs. Striped horned animal. Okay, we're not going there yet. I feel like we're really not... Um, <laughs> we're not really equipped for that. We need to start observing all of these as well, I think. Because if we, the more we know, the better equipped we'll be to to do things. So let's speed up again. Um, can we make our campfire? Hmm. No, I need sticks. Cut sticks from bushes. Alright, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, collect all. Does that work? There we go. Let's take all of these. Take all of these out and I think they're just going to give us hay, but hey, never mind. Alright, farming. We don't really need a grass farm just yet. Wardrobe, storage chest, storage shelves, furniture. Oh god, you can make a bed. Oh, let's make a table. A wooden table, because they won't like to eat their food without a table. Let's make some wooden stools. There we go. Um, leisure, a shooting target. Use for relaxation. Actually, that could be quite good. I don't want these guys to, like, freak out. No freaking out on us, please. Okay, we need some more wood. So let's cut these down. Oh, we still haven't observed the palm. Let's do that as well. We still haven't observed the bird that's in the palm either. <laughs> um, yeah, let's research a chopping block. Oh, it gets wood into sticks. There we go. Alrighty, let's do that. So the chopping block, um, let's put that over here. Um... Great, I really want that to be constructed ASAP. And actually, you know what, we'll cancel the orders to cut that grass. And then once we get the sticks from the chopping the wood... Why are you all standing around? Is that because there's no food to eat? Oh, that sucks. Insufficient storage space. 
Okay, so I wonder, hmm, I really want to build another, where is it? Another shelter. Gosh, we really need the sticks. Okay, guys, we're going to have to wait until we've got, until we've got the sticks. All right, production, we do need a workbench, but we need metal, so just we'll wait for that. Um, okay, let's do a wooden research desk, although I need, mm, no, let's just do the wooden research desk, and I'm really sorry guys, you're just going to have to stand outside, you're just going to have to stand outside and research, I'm sorry. Alright, so what's everyone doing? You're cutting stuff, you're scavenging, you're cutting, and you're observing, so that's good. Oh god, look, that bug is coming close to us. We may as well put an observe on it just to see what's what. Have we observed the little thing in the tree? We haven't yet. I might just pause construction on the shooting and the workbench, the shooting target I mean, because I really want this. Oh, you know what? It's been done. We're fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, so do I... I just want to pause a sec. Yes, I want you to create sticks. Um, I want you to do until you have maybe like 20 sticks. Let's try that. Oh, is that a second one that's come down for us to look at? It might be. I don't know. No, I don't know if I can observe that that flying uh, little creature. Okay, so we don't have enough storage, but now hopefully we'll get some... Oh, yes, Hugo, champion. He's making the sticks. All right, so now I want to create... Um, some more shelter. I need a, I need sticks. Hugo, Hugo, please, I need sticks, please. <laughs> I need 15. All right. Come on, Hugo. We're all waiting on you, bud. No research queued. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. So we've got metal refinement. Um... So we're looking at producing the metal, which we actually need to to do that. We've got tailoring, we've got weapon smithing, that's actually something we could do as well. Animal taming, that could be good. Um, sleep training. I say let's do metal refinement, honestly, for now. Let's do that. discovered a tall palm tree. This palm tree could be cut down for some wood. I gathered some of its nuts for seeding. Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. So, Hugo, mate, all you're doing is eating. Okay, I've got 10 sticks. What can I make with 10 sticks? I need to, I want to make more shelter. Oh, look, I can do tree farming. That's cool. Oh, 15 sticks. Great. Okay, can I put this against that one? Uh, how do I know? Yep, I think it goes like that. Perfect. Let's see. Discovered a dandelion tree. Okay, what does that do? I decided to name the weird glowing ball tree dandelion tree because of its resemblance to the well-known plant. This tree has dedicated trunk and branches, feeding nutrients into the spores at their ends. If handled properly, these spores clusters can be broken down and used to make medicines or even tea. Oh, great. So we can harvest the spores, plant the dandelion tree, we can craft healing balm at the workbench. 
Ooh, that's really good. Okay, let's let's see. So where are they? They were around our camp when they yes, here they are. Alright. Let's cut down. No, I don't want to cut them, I want to harvest, I think, don't I? Harvest is not ready yet. Wait for the crop to mature. Okay, interesting. So you can only harvest when they're mature. Okay, that's cool. That looks pretty mature. No? Alright, that one at the front is mature. Here we go. What about these guys? Gosh, they're hard to um, <laughs> to select, aren't they? No. Oh, wait, that was one. There we go. Alrighty. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got our little shelter here as well. Food crops, dandelion. Okay, let's get this going. Where do I want to put this? Maybe out here? Let's try this. Um, a 6x8? Let's do a... Hmm. Yeah, let's do a 6x8. Let's put some more storage places here. What about a storage chest? For a ride storage for resources. Let's try a wooden storage chest. I don't know, is that is that good? Let's try a couple more of those. There we go. Okay, we've only got food for four days. I wonder if we scavenge scavenge some more. I wonder if we can find um, extra food. Let's hope so. We'll scavenge that. We'll scav Is that still scavengeable? No. Oh, salvageable. My bad. I was saying scavenge. They're not scavenging that. They're salvaging. My bad. <laughs> oh, look at our plants growing. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, look at them all sleeping. This is super creepy. Look at them all sleeping. Oh my god. Look, they're all looking the one way. That's so weird. They look like zombies. Alright, you do you guys. I don't I don't really I don't care. <laughs> you do you. Um this whole storage thing though is really kind of off putting though because it's kind of not um I don't know, they're just leaving everything everywhere and I don't really know how to fix it. Obstructed by another device. Yeah, I can't put them too close to each other, but then that will be outside. So, I don't know, I thought I would like to... I probably should put my storage inside. I, be, I could be wrong. Alright, what are we all doing? So he's observing... You're scaven uh, salvaging. Oh no, you're scavenging there, see. <laughs> you're scavenging, you're observing the tube plant. Oh god, that bloated insect is coming close. We can scavenge off that as well. Alrighty, so what next? We've got beds. We've got storage, we've got um, no campfire. Let's see if we can do a campfire. There we go. Scrap metal or stone. Um, let's go with the stone in case we need something else. I'm going to put them close to our beds so we can get warm. Okay, um, we found a new discovery. The strange plant may be a rare thing native to this world. I named it Heptagonia because of its distinctive shape. It produces a sweet syrup which can be harvested and used for cooking. I would I wouldn't say no to drinking it raw either. It seems to be safe. <gasps> Fantastic. Alright, can we farm that? Yes, let's put some heptagonia down. Oh we found some liquid fuel. Soil loam twenty mi minus twenty five percent growth? Oh, that doesn't look good. Alright, what does it need? Some kind of weird soil. Grows very slowly, but thrives in poor soils and yields harvest at regular intervals. Hmm. Mm, oh, it needs to be over there. Okay, anywhere else? 
Okay, if it needs to be over here, let's do it. There we go, there's Heptagonia. That's probably why it grew here. <laughs> New weapon, a laser pike. Okay. Will the local wildlife welcome me or eat me? Naras, that's a question we're all trying to ask ourselves. <laughs> Let's observe this guy. I thought I clicked on him before, but I might have clicked on a different one. The, the, they're probably moving all over the place, to be honest. All of these animals. Okay. Um, we've got our campfire, which is awesome. Okay. So, hot drinks. We can make the tea. Uh, what does that do? It's minor pain relief. Um, sure. I mean, why don't we just keep, why don't we just keep like five in our, in the coffers? Um, grain porridge, veggie soup. Uh, cooked emergency ration. We could cook those. Because I think if you cook them, it gives happiness plus six. Um, let's just do forever, I say. Also, veggie soup. What's that? Suitable for vegetarians. Yes, now we have a vegetarian in our midst. So let's do that. Let's just have like five of them available. Okay. Um, let's do cooked emergency rations as number one, I think, and then veggie soup and tea. I think I've done that right. I don't know. Okay. Oh, great. Look, we've got our garden here growing the he heptagon plant. Well, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> okay. What is everyone else doing? Hugo is cooking. That's great. Make yourself useful, Hugo. Jayla is scavenging. Naras is scavenging. And Samantha is... Oh, observing the flathead animal. Great. Great, we got some cooked emergency rations. That's really good. Everyone will be super happy about that. Oh, we discovered Draka. Oh, the patterns on the back of that animal with the big flat head are very similar to those of the small Drac insect native to my home world. So I felt like naming it Draca. Much to my surprise, it seems to be peaceful herbivore. The elevated position of its eyes allow it to keep watch for predators and danger while feeding. If concerned, oh sorry, if cornered, it can defend itself with its long, strong forelegs, uh, whose claws, uh, claw-like endings seem quite intimidating. Taming of the Draca if researched. Ooh, okay. Oh, first camp. We put together a camp as quickly as we could, considering the circumstances. We are not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive at 7 p.m. tonight, 1900. I think it's a great idea. Let's do it. Okay, there's a celebration. Okay, I think we're doing really well. I do need to make some weapons though, so... Research desk. We're not really. Re have we already? No, we haven't already researched it, have we? Oh, we've got a large statue for leisure. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Um, great, we made some tea. A torch provides light while burning. That's good. Farming. Can we? Do anything more? No. Grass and the trees. A palm tree. Um, I mean, we could try making the palm tree. That would be... It would just be helpful, wouldn't it? I guess. Insufficient storage space. Oh, dear. Have I got to make another shelter for storage? 
Um, camp, that's right. <laughs> Let's put... I guess we just keep boxing it out, I guess. Um, a wardrobe is for clothing, items, and weapons. And a ward... Oh, double wardrobe. Um... Alright, let's get one of those, and let's put another storage chest in here. There we go. Oh look, everyone's gathering. Everyone's having so much fun. Their happiness must be going up. Yeah, nice. Is everyone happy? Oh my gosh, he's really happy. How wonderful. I feel like this is kind of in the way. I wonder if I can move it. Move, yeah, good. Let's put our one over there. Oh, how wonderful! <laughs> They're dancing. That is cool. I like this. Everyone's going to sleep now. All right. Oh no, they're having a good old chat, having something to eat. Oh, that looks like a soup. Quite nice. So the boys have gone to sleep, the girls are eating. Three days for our supplies for food. Well, how long do these take to grow? How tall are they? Or how much have they grown? 5% growth rate in the rain. They've only grown 5%. Mm-hmm. Um... You know what, I might just hold off on planting the trees because I feel like it's not super necessary. What about over here? They're 4% grown. Huh, we might have to actually start to hunt one of the animals that's around here. Mm, like maybe that bloated insect. But we really need to make some weapons, so... That's our research desk. Have I put a workbench down? I don't think I have. Production. Oh, a cooking stove. Used for cooking quick... Um, we'll wait for that. Okay, I didn't. Alright. Let's put this... Workbench down there. And we'll get some weapons going. Let's speed things up. Soaking wet. Yep. Um, I'm just not sure. How do I put... How do I put the shelter, like, this way? Um, maybe I should just try it and be like, oh, well, it's like it is what it is. Oh, because it kind of opens up. Let's see. Does that do something? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's what we want. Like is that is that how we want it to be? Like if I say okay shelter just be like that. Or do I want it to be like oh like this? Let's try that. Let's see if that gives us Hmm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I've done something really bad there. Oh a sausage palm, where are you? It's a fruit-bearing palm. The fruits are very pe peculiar. They have muscle-like tissue and taste so convincingly like meat the vegetarians wouldn't eat them. The palm itself grows slowly, but it still may be worth it to plant some of the more reliable supply of meat. So you get palm meat. Oh great, palm oil technology for research. Fantastic. Well, you know what guys, I think we're doing so well here. Um, I am going to leave the episode here. We're constructing some more shelters to see if we can have like a bit of extra space that's actually undercover. Um, we've got our workbench going now, so we'll be able to hopefully craft some weapons and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just making some healing bombs there. I don't know. We might have to, um, we might have to research some some weapons um i'm not sure but we will press on so um 
yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. I am having a blast with this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, and we'll see how far we can get going on this survivalist um, map playthrough. See if we can get Hugo, Jayla, Naras and Samantha to survive. Thanks so much for joining me. My name's Smox from Celebrant Quest and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye bye.